Alright, let's evaluate this definite integral here. So step one, we need to first solve our indefinite integral. So our indefinite integral is 1 over square root of x plus 9 minus square root of x dx. Okay, as a denominator we have two terms and both of them have a square root. So we can use the conjugates of these denominators to multiply both numerator and denominator. So our denominator will be simplified. So let's do that. In, in this case we will have integral of 1 over square root of x plus 9 minus square root of x times the conjugate of denominator will be square root of x plus 9 plus square root of x over square root of x plus 9 plus square root of x dx. Okay, next step, we need to just multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. One time this expression will be the same expression, square root of x plus 9 plus square root of x. And in the denominator, we can use FOIL method to multiply these two uh, factors, or we can use the difference of the squares formula. In that case, we will have x plus 9 minus x. So we, when we expand the brackets, and or when we use the formula, difference of the squares, all the square roots will be cancelled and some terms will be also cancelled. And we, we will be left with x plus 9 minus 1. And here also you can see that x minus x will be just 0. So we have dx equals 2. And now we can take this constant 1 over 9 in front of the integral and we will have 1 ninth times uh, 1 ninth times square root of integral of square root x plus 9 plus square root of x dx. Okay, here we have to integrate these two terms. That means we can integrate each term separately, but we, we have to be careful here. We have this coefficient 1 ninth, so this coefficient belongs to each, each term. So then our first integral will be 1 ninth integral of square root of x plus 1, x plus 9, x plus 9 dx. Second integral will be plus 1 ninth integral of square root of x dx. Okay, now here we have square roots. So it, to make it easier to integrate, we will rewrite these square roots as a power. So it will be, so first integral will be 1 ninth integral of x plus 9 quantity and square root will be power 1 half dx. Okay, second integral is the same, we will do the same procedure, 1 ninth integral of x to the power 1 half dx. Okay? Now, in, in the first integral, we can use here, just use substitution. So, I can take this entire quantity x plus 9 as a u, u equals to x plus 9. Differentiate both sides with respect to x, it will be du equals to dx. Now, I am ready to, to use u substitution for my first integral. And that will be 1 ninth integral of u to the power of 1 half du. Okay, and let me write the second integral as it is first, and then, then we can evaluate them. So that will be x to the power of 1 half dx. So both of them are similar integrals, right? Except for these terms. Here we have x terms and u terms, but the powers are similar. Okay, we can now. Now we can use just the power rule for integration. So for both integrals, so let's do that. In that case, we will have one minus u to the power power of one half plus one three half over three half 
Second integral will be plus 1 ninth x to the power of 1 half plus 1, 3 half over 3 half. Okay, now let's simplify our this uh, each, each denominator of each term. So we can do that if we multiply both denominators and numerators by the reciprocal of our denominators. So that will be, so the reciprocal of 3 half is 2 thirds. So I will multiply both numerator and denominator by the 2 thirds. In the second term, we will have the same denominator. So the reciprocal will be the same. And now you can see the 3, 3 cancels, 2, 2 cancels, so the entire denominators will cancel. So we will have, if we, if we multiply 2 thirds and 1 ninth, that will be 2 27th, u to the power of 3 half, plus 2 27th, x to the power of Okay, now uh, our result must be in x terms and that will be more, more nicely if we have uh, if we substitute back our powers as a, if we divide them our powers by the roots. Okay, let's do that. In that case we will have 2 over 27 and denominator of the power is 2, that means it is square root u to the power of numerator is 3. So u to the power of 3. Plus 2 over 27 square root of x to the power of 3 or x cubed. Okay, and now we are almost done. We have to write our result in x terms. So we will use best substitution for u here. And we know that our u is u is x plus 9. So let's substitute it. That, that will be 2. And, and we can factor out 227. So let's, let's factor it. 227. And we will have square root of u is x plus 9 quantity cubed plus square root of x cubed. Okay, this is a result for our integral, indefinite, the solution for indefinite integral. And I, I didn't add here c because we will evaluate this definite integral. Okay? So let's, let, now we are ready for evaluating our definite integral. So I will erase this. So we will be needed some space. Okay. So we already know the solution for our integral, and that is this is our solution. So let me write it: two twenty-seven times square root of x plus 9 quantity cubed plus square root of x cubed and we have to evaluate it by using our limits and lower limit is 0, upper limit is 16 and now we can just substitute upper limit and lower limit for x's here evaluate them and then we need to subtract these two results Okay, we will start by substituting the upper limit. Okay, so we will have still this 2 over 27. I can left it as a uh, I can left it as a factor. Okay, factor it out. So that will be now we can substitute 16 for x. So 16 plus 9 is 25. So we will have square root of 25 cubed plus square root of 16, substitute 16 for x, that will be just 16 cubed. And subtract, next we have to 
substitute 0 for axis and our first term will be square root of 9 cubed and then plus square root of 0 cubed which is 0 ok and square root of 0 that will be 0 and square root of 9 cubed will be so uh, let's simplify our this uh, this brackets so let's do that so that will be 2 over 27 here I can rewrite it like 25 square times 25 that is 25 cubed plus square root of 16 squared times 16 that is 16 cubed minus square root of 9 square times 9 is 9 cubed okay. then we can continue simplifying in this case we will have so 25 square square and square root cancels we will have 25 times square root of 25 is 5 plus square and square root cancel we have 16 times square root of 16 is 4 minus square and square root cancel it is 9 times square root of 9 is 3 in this case we will have 2 over 27 times 25 times 5, 125 plus 16 times 4, 64 minus 9 times 3, 27 ok then we will have 2 over 27 so let me erase this one so that will be 125 plus 64 is 189 189 minus 27 189 minus 27 will be 26 162 yes and 162 can be divided by 27 and it will be just 6 okay it will be just and now we need to multiply this 2 times 6 and our result will be 12 and that will be the value of our given definite 